909 now on your Tuesday. We knew this was going to be a riding to watch uh, when the election was called uh, because it's going to be one uh, with no incumbent and a good chance for maybe all of the parties to uh, score a win here in Calgary. Uh, last week, though, Calgary Mountain View was under the microscope because the UCP candidate, Kaylin Ford, was forced to resign over some comments she was uh, criticized for online. Jeremy Wong was dropped in as her replacement, and he found himself in a little bit of hot water, too. But we're happy to have him here this morning with us to, to talk about that and his uh, candidate chip. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here and an honor to uh, represent Calgary Mountain View as its United Conservative Party candidate. Um, uh, you're surprised that you're here. Um, how has that been, being dropped in? It's an exciting opportunity. Uh, it was unfortunate circumstances, but I'm very happy to be here and I'm excited to uh, help win this riding. You're connected already. So were you uh, effectively the runner-up in, in the nomination process to to represent? Yes, I ran in the nomination and I was uh, the runner-up. Okay, so let's talk about what happened right away. Invariably, when you're a candidate, people uh, look at things you've said and posted, and you got into trouble for sermons, and you got into trouble for possible connections to what some believe is uh, conversion therapy. An opportunity, Jeremy, to uh, respond to both. Well, thank you for that opportunity. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, those NDP uh, allegations are false. Uh, I am not a misogynist and I do not support conversion therapy, so I want to be clear on that. Uh, I actually find it it's saddening uh, the state of political discourse today because uh, I think that we should focus on policies and the NDP have actually been focusing on negative campaigning and personal attacks, mainly because they haven't been able to uh, campaign on their failed economic record. I think there's, you know, been a lot of talk about that. I think. The negativity around the entire campaign has turned a lot of people off. You're right. I 100% agree with you. I think there are a lot of people, though, that are, are asking questions because they're concerned. And there's some major pushback from the LGBTQ community right now about potentially rolling back GSAs and, and that sort of thing. And so how do you stand on that? I fully support the rights and freedoms of all Albertans. I uh, want to defend the rights and freedoms of the LGBTQ community. Uh, specifically to GSAs, I support the party's uh, uh, stance on supporting GSAs. Uh, we're completely supportive of GSAs. That's not going to be repealed in, in our platform. Uh, we're against any sort of outing students or any sort of mandatory notification to parents. Uh, so we're completely supportive of GSAs. Uh, and it was actually the Conservative government uh, that introduced Bill 10 and the previous Conservative government that brought in GSAs. But rolling back the rules in terms of what Jason Kenney spoke of yesterday in the Education Act, that would change things and that would potentially out children to their parents who would have to give permission for them to join these GSAs? I don't see it as rolling back. I don't see it as regressive at all or uh, outing students at all. I see it as going back to uh, Bill 10, which was actually a very uh, strong legislation in protecting LGBTQ communities and uh, LGBTQ students. Uh, that, that legislation is really creating a partnership between parents and teachers and not uh, creating an antagonistic relationship there. But the LGBTQ community is outraged by the change that was announced yesterday, and they're saying there isn't protection there. So the protection you're providing them, they're saying is not there anymore. I still believe that it's uh, strong protections for the LGBTQ community. We believe that uh, principals, teachers, uh, parents, uh, they really love their the kids and want to do what's best for the kids. And it's really not the role of a bureaucrat or a politician who is out of touch with schools or communities uh, to enforce legislation that uh, isn't actually protected. So would the schools inform the parents then if their kids join the GSAs? There is no mandatory notification. We're not supporting any sort of mandatory notification. Let's talk uh, jobs because that's where uh, the UCP scores very well in, uh, in all of the polling and you're way ahead in the polling. Um, is that going to be your message? Is that what you're talking about when you knock on the doors to, to greet with people? Absolutely. I'm all about the economy just like the UCP is all about getting people back to work. I think that when people go to, the, uh, to vote on April 16th, we really have to ask ourselves can we afford, an, afford another four years of NDP government? Uh, we're already uh, deep into debt, $50 billion in debt. We're going to be $100 billion in debt if we allow another four years. And so when I'm knocking at the doors, uh, I see people deeply concerned. People are concerned about unemployment, uh, concerned about uh, the lack of pipelines, concerned about uh, the investment fleeing this province. And the NDP have done 
a, a poor job of defending a, uh, the economy in Alberta. Specifically the pipeline, what would the UCP have done differently uh, to help this happen? Because it's, as we see, a federal issue that's bogged down for a number of different reasons. I believe that the UCP uh, is the party that is supportive of pipelines. I think that the NDP, no matter how they try to package it, they're ideologically against pipelines. And so with the uh, uh, NDP appointing different people like support Berman to uh, to the regulator or different things like that it really clearly shows that they're against any sort of defense defensive pipelines you, you in our don't country. believe the premier wants the pipeline to go through uh, I mean they, they I think they can package it like that but I really believe that the UCP are the are the party that uh, are defending Alberta's interests I think that uh, for example, with Jason Kenney standing up to uh, the Liberal government in Bill six, C-69, C-48, uh, it's really defending uh, Alberta's interests and getting pipelines to be built uh, for the future. And I don't see the same sort of activity on the NDP side in terms of defending that. I think that. the Premier did testify at that uh, Senate meeting when the Bill C-69, if I'm not mistaken. So I think she was there you know, fighting as well. But uh, let's switch gears again. You're in a riding, Jeremy, as we've said with everybody, all of our guests here. Uh, this is one that's maybe up for grabs, but there's some very high-profile candidates. So uh, what are you going to need to do as kind of as a last-minute replacement to, uh, to win the vote? Well, I'm focusing on meeting people at the doors. Uh, I think that in this riding, it's, it's a wonderful riding. I live in this riding. It's an honor to talk with people about their concerns. And I'm not a big name candidate. I'm just an everyday Albertan who's really working hard. And uh, I understand the concerns of people living here. And I really just want to get people back to work and defend our economy. Uh, good to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's an honor to be here. Uh, representing the UCP here in Calgary Mountain View, Jeremy Wong is uh, carrying the banner there. And again, as we've said, this is going to be one of those ones. There's a handful of them, I think, right across the province that are going to be so interesting mm -hmm. to watch. You've got the leader of the Liberals here trying to hang on to the riding for the Liberals. David Swan had it for 15 years. You've got a very high profile. Uh, Angela Cocott from 770 Days, we know, a very high profile. Kathleen Ganley. Yep. Uh, this is uh, going to be a good one to watch. Uh, again, definitely. Jeremy, thank you for being our guest today. Helicopter traffic now. It's brought to you by Gateway at West District by Truman. Maximize mobility with pedestrian-friendly streets and paths.